Wednesday in November. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to move it up so that there was actually more time between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Yeah. Well, actually, my I, uh, because they said, here's the problem with the way it is setting. Last year, there was actually one week less, could, uh, one week less time because of the way that count. I don't understand. There's still the same amount of days, but there was less shopping days available because of the way that they Well, were I, a lot of times they count the shopping days as how many weekends you have. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of, I mean, because we think of the holiday stuff happening after Thanksgiving. For example, like holiday office parties yeah. and things like that. But you did have less shopping days, so that's why they're trying. And also, they would like to move it to a Monday. So actually, make Thanksgiving. Make it, well, the, the, the unions want it moved, changed to to fit with the Uniform Holiday Act, so they can have a three-day holiday. They don't get a three-day holiday this time. Well, they're off on Thanksgiving, and that's it. Oh, yeah, because it's on Thursday, so they are off on Thanksgiving, and then they work on Friday. But a lot of times, people take off on Wednesday, so they have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, but yeah. it wasn't until. December 26, 1941, that the unified day changed <laughs> to the fourth Thursday, which had been before, and then changed and changed back again. Uh, and it was not always final as the fourth Thursday, even though Con even though Lincoln had basically proclaimed it. Because, no, wait, a president proclamation is only good until the next president changes it. Uh, Roosevelt, who had two years earlier offered his own proclamation to move the date earlier with the reasons of giving the economy an econ economic boost, agreed to sign a bill into law with Congress making Thanksgiving a national holiday on the 4th, not final Thursday in November. Mm -hmm. I think it is the final Thursday in November, no matter how you put it. I think it, it always is. It has to be. I go look at the calendar. Um, there is no way it can be anything else but the, uh, uh, I guess it could be, okay, once, uh, once What's every, the fourth Thursday one, two, month? three, four, five, once every six or seven years, there's yeah, an Yeah, because Thursday. when the Thursday shows up on the first of the month. Yeah, so. Because September, I mean, or, that's set, or when close, they, because, see, November only has 30 days in it. See, that's when they get pissed off about shopping days, because when the when it, there is another Thursday. Oh, as long as it, like, if it's on a Tuesday, if it starts on a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Yeah, I think so you're safe. Yeah. Basically, uh, I don't know. Indian, you get extra time. Oh, we got Canadian France, Jeudi Action de Grace. Oh, wait a minute, which is one, two, three, four, yeah. So, actually, if it starts on a Wednesday, right now... November 1st started on a Tuesday, so on Thursday, there are actually four Thursdays in the month of November. But if November started on the Wednesday, you have another Thursday. then you would have five Thursdays and in that's November. And when, that's when, uh, this is when you get a screw up in uh, shopping days because yeah. it makes a mess of the thing. Because, because you actually would get more shopping days. Yeah, so. But we got the, uh, actually we have... Thanksgiving in Canada, Liberia, the Netherlands. Basically, the problem is you got to understand this is all people that were around here. Uh, oh. French Canadian Jour d'Action de Grace. And occurring on the second Monday in October is then a Canadian holiday to give thanks to the close of the harvest season. Uh, businesses may remain open in public holidays, nonetheless recognized celebrated regardless of state. Libya, you know, I love or Liberia. Liberia is celebrated on the first Thursday of November in Netherlands. Basically, pet the that, this, guess where the pilgrims come from? You, these, these good god free people. They tend to speak, but they tend to speak Flemish, and they tend to speak Achtung, very German. So, there wasn't a whole lot of British, and there wasn't, ah, me darling, there's not a lot of Irish and Scottish. So, I really am, I want to roll with it. I don't even drink. Mm -hmm. Well, not at this hour of the morning. I do later at night. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of drinking at night. Um, Okay, uh, basically North Fork Allen, uh, basically it's another thing, thank you, still been the last Wednesday in November, similar to the, to the pre-World War things, the United States though, we basically, ooh, I'm almost at the end of this one, look at that, Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving Day, oh. <laughs> that's the real big thing, Thanksgiving, that's okay, that's when, that's when the people over at, um, at Gimbel's and Macy's, had their wars because they used to be. I used to remember when there was all kinds of Thanksgiving celebrations on Thanksgiving. Nowadays they don't have a lot. Um, so. And as they say, it's, it started celebrating the fourth Thursday um, by federal legislation in 1941. It's been a, a, an annual tradition by presidential proclamation since 1863 and by state legislation since the founding fathers of the United States. 
And historically, it began as a tradition of celebrating the harvest of the year. I, I noticed no where in this where they talked about the pilgrims and the American Indians. No, we're going to give you a different one this year. Oh, it is totally different. I told, I told you I found something. We've done this. Okay, this is the sixth time we've done this. Is it? Six, this is at number six. We've been in business seven years. We, the next, after um, the first year, we started doing we, we started doing things after, uh, actually in the summer of the first year, we started doing like 4th of July and stuff. And as most of you know here in the United States, for Thanksgiving, there's always a lot of food around. Traditionally, <laughs> I even have, I, I, I didn't even pull it up, I have Thanksgiving cookbooks. Yeah. One of the most common things people cook are turkeys for yeah. Thanksgiving. Yeah, which we've done. Yeah, what else do they cook? Ham. Ham. Uh, they Roast. don't fish. Depending upon where you at is basically, okay, turkeys are really big. But they're not always, you know, like in, a, in an area where fish are predominant, you can basically get, you know, like maybe salmon or haddock, things that are basically got, uh, and you know, now we go back to my family a bit. My family, we would, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, and Easter, and the 4th of July were great big buffet days, What because my, my mother was in the restaurant business, and also I loved to cook, if she, I don't, they don't get to cook. I don't cook on camera because nobody wants to see a guy, an old person, cook on camera. But um, we would basically have we would have uh, we'd have uh, we, we would have turkey, ham, roast, mm -hmm. and chicken, and um, and fish on yes. our buffet line. So it's anybody that no matter what you know, because we do we have my family is composed of. Um, of Irish Catholics mm -hmm. and, and a lot of Jews. So in addition to that, you see a lot of stuffing. Yep. Mashed potatoes. Gravy. Mm -hmm. Many forms of gravy. Yams. Yeah. Our our potato, mashed potatoes and gravy. Mm -hmm. uh, squash. Squash. Um, pumpkin pies. Pumpkin pies. Uh, lots of uh, of of, of uh, especially made candies and stuff and things. Um, you also have uh, various forms of libation. You'd have, you know, you'd have uh, soft drinks. You'd have teas. You'd have especially coffees. You know, just like uh, you'd also have uh, all sorts of sliced whatever vegetable or fruits were available at the time of when you, uh, in your area for Thanksgiving. You'd basically have them also. Mm -hmm. So it's just, uh, I mean, I, I got. Well, I, I know a friend that basically had three stars in his shoulders. So he would celebrate Thanksgiving sometimes on aircraft carriers. Mm -hmm. And the aircraft carriers, they do it as Thanksgiving for God. You think that they, they, they you know, buffet lines, you think, we had a nice buffet line in my homes. Those aircraft carriers had buffet lines, folks. Oh, I bet they had buffet you know, lines. Oh, yeah, my you know, God. Like, boom, boom. <laughs> you know. Oh, I think I'll have that. Oh, cranberries. We forgot cranberries. Oh, cranberries. Yeah. And one of my favorite relishes is cranberry relish with. Orange. I know. It basically, oh, she tries to find that every year when it's put on. I think the only place they have yeah, it is Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Yeah, that's or you, unless you make it yourself. Yeah, but Jan, actually, she had a recipe for that. I don't know what she did. I think it was Bogey's recipe, wasn't it? Maybe. I know. I think Bogey. Was, I think it was listed as Bogey. My dog recipe. has their own recipes. Yeah. Okay. They do. I mean, you don't. Well, you, okay. Monty has her own store called. Um, the anything for Monty's. Store. Yeah. It's also her 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 restaurants are called McMonty's. Yeah, no. <laughs> and they have a special sauce and special drinks. And in the words of Leslie Nielsen, when they ask you, what are the special ingredients? You don't want to ask. Mm -hmm. You never want to know. Don't ask. Don't go there. Mm -hmm. No, but don't. It's sort of like, it also comes right around more Jewish holidays. And the Jewish people in our holidays love to eat. They don't get, they're not big on presents, but God, are they big on food. So, I mean... So it's a it's a it's a one time and there are several times a year when all of the different religions can come together for a real okay. There's no wars on Thanksgiving between the religions. Yeah, you know why? It's not a religious holiday. It's not a religious holiday, and so therefore they can all sit down at the same table and eat their own. You know, it, it's not eat to your heart's eat to your heart's content of the food that's available. You can pick, you know, like in a lot of families. Uh, you know, if they know they're going to have guests from like um, Hebrew, and or they have Catholic, or they have Muslim guests coming, they'll put down something special on their tables, and then it, it's also a time. 
it, it's really a funny date. It's the one holiday where you can go sample another nation's food at your own dinner table that you've never had because you have guests that are from another nation. They, see, they don't want their food. They come to eat the other stuff. Also, this is one of those holidays that if you have family events all the time, it's actually a great time to go ahead and open it up to other people that are not traveling for the holidays whose yeah. families may live somewhere else. Yeah. We also see a lot of assistants or actually for, at the mission where the celebrities go and help at the yeah, kitchens. I know. Uh, they mainly go for photo ops, okay? No, no, but, I, I did but they that. do actually go there and help. Because my father, my mother helped found two restaurants, actually found a whole bunch of restaurants changed up the same company's banner. And we would, um, what my mother would do is she'd have the cooks cooking extra, extra turkeys, extra this and extra that. And then we put them on great big, you know, uh, in big trays, you know, disposable trays, because they steal the trays. You know, my mother's not going to put something in a, in a stainless steel thing, so, you know, they, they would steal them because they were worth money. And we'd take it down to the, the we're, we're talking, you know, 50, 60 years, actually 60, 70 years ago she was doing that. And the, she'd basically, the, the, my father was in the business, my father would get off-duty police officers, and my, my I, my, part of my family was also firefighters, so they would do that, and then they'd get actors. And we'd all haul this stuff down to these places, and then put them on tables, and then you'd sit there and serve the stuff, you know, which is, you know, um, it, it was a big deal, because you never knew, I mean, you could actually literally be standing next to a Tyrone Power, or, or, uh, or um, uh, um, you know, um, and Betty Davis, someone like that, mm -hmm. would be standing there giving people food and enjoying doing it. Mm -hmm. You know, not that, you know, my mother made certain it was really damn good food, and they'd be saying, that's good. It's good. You can feed that to them. I mean, I, 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 I will we'll tell you one. I, my, this is a, you know, Ms. Blake Cesar Romero was really a gourmet everything. You know, he would put on his, uh, he would wear his suit, and he would wear, uh, you know, a, uh, uh, an apron over the suit, and he'd have it. He had his own spoon back in 1940 something. He'd go like this. <laughs> then he'd go to the next. And then, then people would be like, you know, all of a sudden be like somebody that knew him would hit him in the back of the head with a dinner roll. That was enough. Okay, that, that, that actor's getting old. Get back behind the thing. That was his, that was the way he would do things. He'd go, your sample stuff. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I got, it was a neat thing. It was a, there are not a whole lot of holidays that Americans do that it doesn't make any difference who you are. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any difference what religion you are. It doesn't make it, it's a place where, you know, military personnel and the people that hate the military can all come in and eat. Because you don't fight with one another on Thanksgiving, it just is not done. You're too busy eating. You're too busy eating. It's a, it's a, it's, it's like a god awful, you know. Okay, you know, like in in Dickens' Christmas Carol, when they have that great big feast, mm -hmm. it is a feast. It is a time to go enjoy your. Basically, you start out with a tummy here and you come out there. They said, my my mother put it this way when they were bringing food over from the restaurant. She said, if anybody went home hungry including the performers and other people that were feeding the people, that's your fault. Mm -hmm. Because we, we provide and we just continue. It was just, it was, uh, you know, I, I, I remember, um, was it, who was it? Uh, uh, an, an actor named, um, who was uh, an actor, you probably don't know um, uh, who Joan Blondell is. No. But she, well, but she was, she's, uh, she was basically a really, she was really looker and stuff, a really great actress. She she got on the phone, you know, called the thing. My called my mother, and she said, you know, like she said, hey, kid, we need some more food, and and I said, well, my mom said to call her, you know, if you needed something else, and she said, well, I don't trust the phone. You get on your bike and you go over to tell your mom we need to. I'll call her, but you tell your mom we need more food. So, you know, I got there at the same time the food is being. And, and I say, Miss Blondell said that we need more food. Well, you go back and tell Miss Blondell the food is coming. <laughs> and then, okay, okay, your mom called us. She said the food is right behind you. Mm -hmm. I, I was like, oh, waste of time for me on a bicycle. The <laughs> women are talking to one another. I think it was because they hated boys or something. <laughs> it was not they like, were getting you out of the kitchen. They got me out of the kitchen. Probably, probably the reason because I said to eat them.
Mm. Oh, got you out of the kitchen. Got me out of the kitchen, but I, I had great remembrances. I mean, with her, it's a family thing too. See, I am, yeah, I am, I am. I, well, actually, I got a lot of family members that want to do things with me, but I don't like those members of my family. <laughs> I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't mind feeding people. I spent my entire life feeding people on holidays. Well, they all—they're all coming and helping you feed them. <laughs> you know, they don't want to do that. I would, you know, but uh, I'm the oldest. The problem comes is where she's, she'll someday reach that point herself. I am the oldest living member of my entire family in the whole god darn world. Mm -hmm. And basically everybody wants to do things with me and I don't want to do things with them. Oh, wait a minute. You've reached that age that they figure they better start paying attention to you again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, when I was little, you know, it's because I... I you go through the stages. I got, I got important. So, but um, I like Thanksgiving because, I mean, we actually try to do a lot of cooking for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. We really do. This year our schedule is sort of skewed, so we don't know what, but we're gonna, you're gonna see us do some cooking, a couple of things, and hopefully we're gonna see when we got, when we made a turkey last year that was ungodly. Oh my God, we did a turkey in the microwave. Oh, it fell Cut. apart. Oh my God, I mean, most of you are cooking it in the oven, right? Yeah. We cooked it in the microwave. I know, it was so tender. I know. It's not one that you want to keep on the bone, though, because it literally, it fell off. There were off. no bones. <laughs> it fell off the You're bone. You're sitting there picking the meat so off the It was so amazingly tender, and it was done really pretty fast. Yeah. It was done a lot faster it, it than did, the oven. Yeah, so we don't know about this year. So this is, but we, we don't try, we, we, we really, okay, the only time we really start to get serious is at the end of these pieces. Because... We want everybody to have a very safe and a happy Thanksgiving, and we really wished that this, the econ economy was a different situation so mm -hmm. that everybody could have a really good Thanksgiving. Because to me and my family, and her and her family, she's going back home for Thanksgiving dinner. Mm -hmm. You know, my, actually my Thanksgiving dinner will probably be with Monty again if things work out. I spend a lot of holidays with Monty and Bogey. So, you know, I, I am the I'm the I am the family member that is trusted with this establishment when the other people go away because I'm Monty's uncle. She's never stayed um, in another place. She's never mm -hmm. been by herself. Monty, I spent uh, virtually every holiday since Monty has been alive with, with either Monty or I, actually it's either been Bogey or Monty. I've spent every Thanksgiving and holiday with them, more mm -hmm. or less. So because uh, other people go, you know, I have no family to go to. I do, but I just don't want to be anyone here. That's the way it works. And my aunt, I saw, she'll, I'm old. No, you'd have to go to them. I have to go to you, them. Otherwise, they all come over here and you okay, don't want okay, to Okay, here's my here. problem is most of my family sits in Europe now. Yeah. Because virtually everybody beneath me is dead, which is funny. It is, um, it is, um, I know a man, which is really a great singer, and um, he was a, you know, he was a fairly good actor, you know, but fair and young, he, he, he's like um, another actor um, that most people know Jeremy Brett as the, um, for, you know, for like the 20 some years he played Sherlock Holmes on Masterpiece Theater. His father, his grandfather was Raymond Massey. Raymond Massey and, and Perrin Young had something both in common, which is what I do. You never want to outlive your, you never want to outlive your children. Mm -hmm. It is the worst thing that can happen to you is when you outlive your children. And that's what both of these gentlemen did. I've outlived it. Everybody in my family, just about my brothers and sisters, are gone. So you know, I'm I'm it. And if I'm not, I'm it here. I can go elsewhere. I don't want to go to Spain. Oh, it might be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I know I can have a lot of fun in Asia. Mm -hmm. I have some really nice people over there. I have a lot of fun in Scotland too. But uh, but I do not. I'm, I'm an American. I mean, I have a birth certificate to prove that I was born. <laughs> So I can actually prove it. Monty and I can prove that we were here. But um, but I wish everybody, like I said, it's the time we get very serious. I wish everybody had what we have for Thanksgiving. Yeah. They just don't. A happy, safe, very filling Thanksgiving. Yeah, go have a good time, folks. I yeah. mean, someday, you know, in reality, I would wish that we were making enough money 
that we could do what my grand, what my mother used to do for Thanksgiving, which was to provide massive amounts of food for a lot of people and all on animals too, because we also she made certain that people's pets were well taken care of because she saved all the bones from all the things that they were cooking in the restaurants, had them all gathered up, oh. and they give them to families to give to their bones and told them, okay, we left enough meat on the bones so that you can make a stew first. Mm -hmm. But the bones are to go to the dogs afterwards. Mm -hmm. So cats were left off because we, were, we do have cats, but no, I can't Cats don't eat bones. No, but they, we didn't think for cats because Monty, Monty does not like those things. So have a, have a happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And join us for more Thanksgiving programming. Yeah, you'll see more.